this uh, press conference. Our aim is that by the time of the referendum, every unionist will know all the facts about this agreement, which poses the greatest threat to our future as part of this United Kingdom. Uh, just one final thing to say before my deputy speaks, and that is this. I want to challenge the Prime Minister now to tell us what he will do if we win this referendum. Is he going to then consider an alternative, or is he going to try and force this down the throats of the people? Many people have said, are we an alternative? Of course we have. But this document is not giving us an opportunity to vote on the alternative. There is only one alternative in this document, and that is a road to a united Ireland and Dublin rule. I was very pessimistic up to a few weeks ago and it's just wonderful the way it turned out that politicians get together and the finished article like as I say I've only browsed through it you know but uh, what the finer parts of it I haven't went into but the, the most outstanding details I find like I don't think anyone really loses their identity in this if the British identity is still there and the Irish identity is still there you know and as I say it's a starter I have two children in their late twenties have known nothing but trouble in it be nice to think that their children maybe won't have to go through the same thing as they went through, you know, trouble from their born to the present day. I cannot uh, prejudge the debate this afternoon and uh, what decisions will be taken. We have not got to that stage on our agenda. This Grand Lodge meeting was not called specifically to deal with the document that was produced last uh, Friday. It had been arranged well in advance and there uh, is other business to be considered and we will get to that this afternoon.